So we're here in the riverland of South Australia at a wetland called the Love Day Wetland Complex. We're obviously hunting ducks. We've got a few different species that live here. The biggest species is the Australian shell duck or the mountain duck. They're actually pretty good eating. A lot of guys don't like them, but when you learn how to cook them properly, you can make them into quite a nice big, nice big duck schnitzel. Then you've got the black duck. They're, they're a bit like, for the Americans, they're a bit like our mallard. Quite a large duck, quite fast, decoys really well, very good eating, usually got a bit of fat on them, really tasty. Then you've got two species, your pink ear and your teal. Now, pink ear aren't on the list this year. There was a low number of them in the count, so they decided to exclude them from the list, but they're normally on the list. And they're what I would call your bread and butter ducks. They're small, they're easy to hunt. They're generally not as smart as the black ducks, so they'll, they will decoy better, as in they will come into the decoys easier. They tend to be a little bit sillier, so they get a bit closer to you. They're not as hard to hunt, and they generally come in in larger flocks. So if you've got teal, you might have a mob of 20, then another mob of 20, and you, you know, you pick a couple of trailing birds off each mob and you, you fill up your bag pretty quick. Pink ears are a bit the same, they wheel around in these big flocks and often as they're coming in you can grab one off the end. You've got other species here, hardhead, they're not on the list this year, but they're a diving duck, so they're our, they're our only native poacher, they're our obligate diving duck. They're an interesting duck to hunt. A lot of guys don't like to eat them, some guys really like to eat them, I've not shot them myself. We get a few blue wing shovelers, they're not on the list, haven't been for a while. They're in between a black duck and a teal in sort of size. So this year, we've had a lot of wood duck on the actual swamp. So wood ducks are actually a goose, so they really love to graze on a bit of grass. But this year with the floods coming through, we've got a lot of, a lot of greenery on the ground that they're grazing on. And so we've had a lot of wood ducks roosting actually just over the other side of this swamp that I'm standing on now, which is usually pretty unusual. Opening morning, there was about 150 wood duck on the, on the swamp doing the lap, which is really unusual. Well, you'd be lucky to pick up one or two and some people were making up almost bags out of wood duck which is very unusual for swamp shooting you get a lot of that on farm dams on private property you know lots of stuff like that but you know where there's a bit of grass where there's a bit of bit of something they live on the dam and they fly up to the to the farmer's front lawn and eat a bit of grass and that sort of thing but yeah not that common on the swamp so that's been it's been really interesting this year